What's going on, boo? Let's go ahead and get into your soul food Sunday message. Only take the part that resonates. Leave the rest. You can book your own personal message at the website, divinememe.com. Don't forget to check out the divine guidance portion. Very interesting downloads I received for some of y'all. Now, I'm not sure. First and foremost, let me say this um, before I say what I'm not sure about. Somebody is weighing the pros and cons of their situation. Do I stay? Do I go? And you're looking at these pros and cons or this person, they're looking at the pros and cons of the situation because a part of them wants to just start over, start fresh. But the other side of the situation, they're like, look, if I start over, you know, things will be tight, X, Y, and Z. Okay. And this could even be new jobs for some of you guys. What I found to be, um, something that it didn't make sense was that somebody was like you my baby on the low so I don't know if y'all got a sneaky link a relationship or if somebody is like look we just keeping our relationship on the low but somebody feels as if an individual like they have that page of cups energy for this person like they really like this person They're like yeah that's my baby on the low so it's weird because I don't know why an individual is keeping it on the low, how they feel about you. If you're talking to somebody and the more y'all talk, feelings are starting to be established. Or if you don't even know this person and somebody got a crush on you and they like claiming you and, you know, feeling like you they baby on the low. So I'm not really sure. But we're going to go ahead and get into the message. And let's see what's going on. Somebody could be good at like freestyle. I'm sorry, shaking the camera. Okay. Somebody could be good at like freestyles. Mm -hmm. I can do all things through Christ strengthens me Philippians 4 13 oh you got to take care of some stuff when it comes to your home sector God is who is going to give you strength through this process to take care of whatever this is that you need to take care of that helps you to feel a sense of security somebody's name could be Philip okay somebody could even be going to like Philip 66 gas station Be careful if you're going to a Philip 66 gas station. Somebody could be like, you could be walking in and it could be a robbery. At the Philip 66. Okay. With the Lord is unfailing love and with him is for redemption. Psalm 130 and 7. I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me. Philippians 3.14 In him was life and that life was the light of all mankind. John 1 and 4 Okay. First and foremost, some of you guys are dealing with Taurus, Aries, Scorpio, Cancer, Leo, Pisces, Capricorn, Aquarius. Now, I do feel like in the past, somebody finally ended a relationship or ended something. Um, it was long overdue. Okay, and somebody, they want redemption. Love failed an individual. Somebody gave they all, and this could be to someone of the past, or it's just a past situation, but in the past, somebody gave they all. Everything that they had, love, emotion, support, a sense of security. But I don't feel like it paid out. Some, there was past life um, karma here. Somebody owed a debt to an individual 
and it was a karmic tie between these two and somebody okay somebody has fulfilled their obligation their soul contract or it will be fulfilled in Scorpio season some of y'all it was with a Scorpio could have even ended in July But there's a masculine energy. He wants redemption. He's like, look, I'm moving on. I'm moving towards the goal. I want the prize that God has called, designed for me. I want everything that God has for me. Because this person gave their all in the past. And whatever didn't work out, this person wants full redemption. And I even feel like for... Um, some of you guys, something transpired in between spring and this summer. It's like somebody started going through the awakening process. So if you can think back to around March to May, some of you guys were going through some ascension symptoms. Some of you guys were having to utilize um, or even persevere through certain challenges. You started making goals for yourself or you started looking at the goals that you've already made for yourself. Because something in the past didn't work out, something that you gave your all to, whether it was a person or not. And it didn't work for you. But I feel as if that karma or that contract that you had, whether this was where you live at, um, what you do for a living, a relationship, that contract was fulfilled. Somebody lives on Elm Street. And somebody is also infected. Somebody has a B, first, middle, last initial. Or a P, first, middle, last initial. Hmm. It's not for everybody. But for somebody, they may have found out. Could be any of those signs that I called out. Okay. Somebody want vengeance for that situation. But for others of you, whatever didn't work out, here you are. You're currently, you're pressing on towards the goal. Because you're like, I know God has something specific for me to do, a specific place to be, um, a home, a car to drive, being a part of a certain soul group, family dynamic. You're like, I know God has a goal for me. And that's what you are moving towards. So someone ends a connection or ends something in their life. And then they start over. Here they are. They're moving forward. Taurus Libra energy is significant. Mm -hmm. Somebody is reevaluating what God has called them to do. And that could have also been what the awakening process was um, meant. It was meant for. It was to help you to see what God has called you to do. Some of you guys, you could have even noticed like irritations, breakouts. Um, you could have been scratching your forehead a lot. Where your third eye chakra is at. 
Okay, I also see somebody warding off. It's like they're warding something off. Something is about to arise. Somebody could be trying to get your attention. And this could even be to cause some type of like change or chaos. Be careful of distractions. I also hear the word strife. And this could be because an individual, they know that you're pressing on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called you. You are no longer bound to a contract spiritually or even in the physical. If it's a friendship, if it is a love relationship, if it is a home you stayed in, if it is a vehicle, you like, that contract has ended. You could have paid a car off and you could be getting a new car. Or you could have already gotten a new car. Some of you guys, if you had gotten a new car, somebody could even be sending the car back. Trading a vehicle in. If you lived in a certain, uh, within the past 13 months, for some of you guys, you may have moved from somewhere that you originally had some type of lease or a sole contract because wherever you move, it's a part of God's plan for you to live in that area, for you to live specifically in that home, for you to be connected to a specific group of people in that time, in that season, well, time frame, okay? But in that season. And there was karma carried over from the past life. And for some of you guys, I feel as if whatever this is, this contract that ended was, it's like you paid off some type of karmic debt in order for you to be free so that you can move forward. And this, all of this started happening in between um, March and May. But it really didn't kick in and take full effect and things didn't come to an end until July. Whether this was something physically ending in your life, you seeing this, or your emotions changing, your feelings for someone, you didn't have the same feelings for them anymore. And a part of that is because the love that you were called to um, invest into a situation, into a certain, um, even if this is a career sector, you put your all into that. It could be a project. You put your all into it and it did not work out, but your sole contract with that, it, it's complete. And now you're free to be able to move purchase a new vehicle or somebody's giving a vehicle back that they have purchased you know a relationship you now you can end a relationship and you're not going back to that person because you recognize the karma within the relationship you understand the lesson within the relationship and you're ready to start something new not to say that you don't love the person that you know or that you dislike the person you, a lot of you guys, you're working past those emotions. It's like, look, I'm just ready to move forward. It ain't a love or hate thing. Look, I just, we good. <laughs> what you say? We good. Let's keep it moving. Okay? Because you're pressing on towards the goal. you like, if that didn't work, then I know that God has designed me to be a wife. I know God has called me to be a husband. I know God has called me to be a life partner. Okay? So you're like, okay, if that didn't work, boom. What's new? <laughs> What's new? What you got for me, Lord? What's the prize? Because some of y'all, you like, look, I put up with a lot. And I know that you're going to give me full redemption in this situation. I know that 
if I press on towards what you have called me to do, you're going to give me a prize at the end of this. That's what you see. You know I'm going to win the prize. That's what you been seeing. And I feel like God is reassuring y'all that yes, you are on the right path. Now, the funny thing is the cards that I pulled for y'all for this message was your life purpose cards. And I don't use these cards too often. And then look at this. Your goals is out here, baby. You got goals. In him was life and that life was the light of mankind. Baby, God is not only working in you, he's working through you in order to help heal and illuminate the beautiful blessings and beginnings and opportunities and transformation to other people. They can't help but to see. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all, you've been knowing what your column was. I feel like in between March and May, for some of you guys, when you were questioning things like, okay, so if that's not what you want me to do, Lord, if that's not who you want me to be with, if that's not where you want me to live, if this ain't the type of work you want me to do, what, what do you want me to do? And he's like, go back. Look at the goals. Go back, look at your vision board. For some of you guys, you're like, I did that. And you see the past situation didn't work. But sometimes, as individuals, we visualize not only the goal, okay, what God has called us to do, but sometimes we insert individuals into those goals or um, a certain career path into that goal or a certain area into what the vision is he didn't say you couldn't have it he may have said you just couldn't have it being connected to that person you couldn't have it being in um, this career sector he didn't say that you couldn't be successful he's like you just want to be successful in this specific area I got bigger plans for you to be successful in an area it may have similarities but it's not exactly the same type of thing or the same type of work so for some of you guys you like look I don't want to work a 9 to 5 and God is like I didn't say you had to but how you are wanting to acquire that success and that independence uh, in the career or in the path or in whatever it is that you're doing, it's limited. I have bigger plans for you. 1919. For some, when it comes to a relationship. It's like, yeah, you kept putting in into that relationship, into that person, in hopes that the love would grow. And even if that person does love you, hey, I got something that's going to hit different. You may want a certain lifestyle, but it may not be with that person. That person may not even have the skills equipped to help you to move on and press towards the goal and it's not to say that you didn't learn anything from that individual when you were connected to them because you have to understand everything is a stepping stone it's levels to this thing have you ever ran track if you ever run track okay and you in the relay race you have to hand out that baton So when one sprinter goes, honey, you have to be able, you got to be on point. You got to know your team player. You got to know when they're going to hand it off. And you have to know when 
it's handed to you when to take off. For some of y'all, with that analogy, okay? Certain career paths, certain homes, certain cars, certain people, certain friendships can only take you to the front of the building. They can't get you in the building. And God may be saying, hey, I need for you to connect with this individual so that they can get you to the building because you have things that you have to learn along the journey to get you to the building. But once I get you to the building, I have somebody at the door that's going to take you in. And that person that brought you to this point, they ain't going to be able to go with you. And now here you are, you in the building. And maybe that person can only, or that job can only take you so far. We don't know. It's a journey. Let's make sure you got gas in your car. Let's Angel of imagination. Okay, so someone wants an individual to acknowledge them. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aquarius. Somebody is also dealing with a Leo or a Virgo. Mm -hmm. Who is this that is imagining or thinking about you? Somebody is studying an individual also. Come on, man. Look. You can't make it up. Relay race. Mm -hmm. November 26th may be significant. Honey, even the angels is trying to keep up with you. You see that? The angels like, look, man, you moving faster than what we can do. Slow it down. I told you. It's a race. Artists. books some of y'all are called to write books create books some of you guys your career sector could be changing you could have been an artist some of you guys could be going back to school okay you need to study and look at this your heart's desires some of you guys could need to um, connect with the artist to help you or somebody to help you with a project that you have. I feel like the past, whatever the past situation was, it taught you how to be creative. You needed to learn how to be creative for wherever you are heading, whatever this goal is. Look at this, all of that knowledge that you acquired, you needed that knowledge in order for you to reach your heart's desire. Come on, baby, you can't make this up. So when you sit up and you struggle with making a decision about your situation, you remember in the very beginning I said, I felt like somebody was weighing their pros and cons. Should they stay in something um, in the past or move forward? And somebody is moving forward. They're pressing on towards the goal to win the prize. And they're going to be successful. This is going to be between the 11th through the 26th. A very good time for you guys to make the moves that you've been planning on making. Okay, working towards your heart's desires. Reading, studying, you know, educating yourself. Some of y'all have been called to write a book. You have a very beautiful imagination. You definitely know how to keep an audience engaged. But yes, 
The past connection, whether it was a job, a home, a vehicle, it allowed you to explore your creativity. It taught you how to be creative. For some of you guys, you may have um, worked with your hands in some form or fashion, or you were just able to be free. And if this was a relationship, somebody could have been an um, artist, but I pick up, like Spirit just said, somebody could have been free. You had a lot of freedom within the relationship, even if you were committed or that person. It's like, hey, I'm trying something different. You know, it's whatever I paint. It's whatever I put on the canvas. So you may have tried to do things your way. But in the process, you learned a lot about yourself, a lot about the lifestyle relationship that you truly desire. And that relationship taught you only so much. Look how far you are from your heart's desire. Look how far you are from your heart's desires with whatever this is that you've finally released. Now here you are in this energy of educating yourself. Some of you guys are having to use your imagination. Some of you guys, when you read certain things, your imagination, how you um, see certain things, very mystical. very adventurous for some of you guys the words dance right off of the pages it's like you are hungry for some type of knowledge and where you are currently at it's going to educate you and then boom for some of y'all in between January in April of next year, you will be walking into your heart's desires. Some of y'all will be on a beach somewhere. Come on. I just looked at the bottom of the deck, travel. Somebody could be encouraging you to travel, to take a trip, take a break. 11-11, boo. When you see 11-11 this week, this is going to be your confirmation. The relay race, okay? You coming across that finish line, baby. Finish strong. Finish strong. You may see some feathers as encouragement this week, okay? If you're driving fast, honey, slow down. Speedy Gonzalez. The angel's trying to keep up with you. I just heard that song, The Angels in Heaven Didn't Sign My Name. Mm -hmm. So the angels in heaven didn't sign your name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Communication. Come on. Did I say you started over? Look at this. This relationship was just the beginning. Where you're headed, it's faded. It's faded. Look at this communication. This new beginning is faded. This is in the works and it's going to happen fast. Some of y'all, baby, you better know how to multitask. Look at this magician energy. Somebody is also astral traveling. Mm -hmm. And for some of y'all, you finally got a down pat child. Okay. For some of you guys, if you have been manifesting or you've been working on your manifestation, you finally got it down. Mm -hmm. So, in the past, a lot of you guys, baby, you don't even realize how protected you was. Baby spirit was protecting you along the journey. Because it was just the beginning and you were a baby. Even when it comes to your beliefs. How you viewed relationships. How you viewed, um, even if this is romantic or platonic. You were able to be free. Uh, you're an artist. 
For some of you guys, you are a dreamer. You have big dreams. You've always imagined yourself doing certain things or having a certain lifestyle or being with a certain person. And spirit was protecting you throughout that journey. In that situation, you had to get very creative in order to make your dreams happen. The dreams being a part of the goal that you have for yourself. The things that you've always wanted. And other people, they always talk about it, but you, no. When you want something, you envision it and you go after it. And for some of you guys, that's why you were so stubborn when it comes to stepping into this new season and walking away from the past. Because you're like, look, I, I, this is what I have envisioned for myself. This is what I want. This is a part of my dream. This is what I have created. Because what does an artist do? What did Erica Badu say? I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. Some of you guys, the Pisces season, baby, you could have been sensitive about your shit. Some of you guys, big dreams, New York City, what's going on? Some of y'all could have even taken out like ads, been thinking about taking out ads for your business. But you had to get creative with the past. But you found yourself, you constantly had to keep starting over. Because you were in the full energy. Again, baby, that's just the beginning. This is faded. Whatever you, the, the current energy, it's meant for you to connect with other individuals, baby. This is progress in the making. If you notice yourself making changes, baby, I don't care what the changes is, okay? Honey, I mess around, change my whole house, okay? You guys can be in that energy also. You're making changes. It is because you are in the energy and the momentum of I'm pressing towards the goal. Feng Shui that thing out. Do you hear me? 3333. Confirmation. You're seeing progress in your situation by switching things up. And now here you are. You were able to not just tell people, oh man, I got a dream of one day owning my own business. Oh, I have a dream of one day of owning the entire block of homes. I have a vision of one day um, being happily ever after in a relationship where we know how to work together, where we work well together, even in times where we disagree. Someone to raise a family with it's like you're no longer dreaming or just imagining it you're living it you're telling people your heart's desires oh i love that i get to do oh i love that i get to have oh i love my job i love that i get to communicate with other people but some of y'all your career is calling you to travel this could be to conferences this could be to travel the world and speak to other people. For some of you guys, somebody is an athlete. Somebody could be a, um, a track star. Mm -hmm. A track team could be like traveling. Baby, you were in, look at this. By the end of it, here you are in this manifestation energy. You started as a dreamer. And here you are, the manifester. Mm -hmm. Baby, you better. That's all I'm going to say. October 8th is significant. Okay. 
Oh, that's my sister's birthday. Speaking of major congratulations to our, what is this? This is baby number, well, for Miss Libra, it's baby number four for her, okay? But as far as prophecies, I believe this is, I want to say our fourth or fifth prophecy when it comes to babies. And, you know, we get prophecies about so many things. And to be able to speak about a spirit baby that hasn't even made it into some of y'all's life. And then for y'all to actually be like, sis, guess what? I'm pregnant. It's like knowing the child spirit or just, you know, being able to see that God is about to bless you abundantly and being able to experience that with y'all, it is a blessing. Um, well, we got Capricorn, okay? So we got us the Capricorn niece. And I just realized we only got one nephew, but another one was prophesied. So it, when you find out, let me know. But most of the ones that have been prophesied are um, ones that were in personal messages. And let's see. We got our Virgo baby girl. Um, we got our Libra baby boy. We have our Capricorn and we have a Pisces. Okay. So it's just, it's really beautiful. And what makes this even sweeter is that out of all of y'all beautiful kids, this baby, I get to be the God mama. So that's pretty dope. Okay. Pretty, pretty dope. And mama's doing good and the baby is doing good. Dad is doing good. They whole family is doing good. It's truly a blessing, honey. I mean, sis came through real quick. We need to get through our baby shower. So just keep mama in your prayers and make sure my baby, you know, pick up that weight. I love you guys and thank you guys so much for allowing me to share in your heart's desires, the beautiful things that are going on in y'all's life. Okay. And for making me a mama, a god mama. Let's get that straight, child. Real quick. Hmm. I love you guys. Have a wonderful week. Make sure y'all meditate. Kiss these kids. Get ready for school. Okay, go ahead. Gas your car up right now if you got to. Don't even wait till the last minute. Let's just go on and start the week off on a good foot. Okay, do what you got to do now. Wash the laundry. You know, we got this team. Okay, because look, baby, you winning the race. Press on. I love you. Bye, boo.